Hey there, Clashers. Welcome back. So, first of all, something weird that happened when I first recorded this entire video. Uh, for whatever reason, the microphone completely quit, even though I was seeing my audio peaks and all that. So, I have to go back and re-record the voice for all of this. So, it should be interesting. Never had to do that before. Anyway, the topic of this video is actually something that was requested by CSAT on, the U on my YouTube channel and it is how to deal with the ice golems in the defensive clan castles when you're attacking. So we're going to take a look at some replays and I'm going to give uh, the advice as best as I can on how to deal with these guys. I know they are a, they're probably the most difficult troop to deal with right now. So let's go ahead and get into one of these replays and take a look at how to deal with them. All right, so we're going to take a look at one of these bases here from a little 5v5 we did recently. Uh, we're going, we're practicing for the ESL that's coming up. So this isn't the attack I want to look at, but I'm showing this attack just to show that there is in fact an ice golem in the clan castle. And the reason for that is I'm going to be hitting this base with an air attack. So if you're hitting a base and you either know or strongly suspect that there's one or two ice golems in the defensive clan castle, the first thing you should look for is can you three star that base with an air attack? Either dragons, electro dragons, or laloon. Because if you go with air troops, the air troops are not going to lure the ice golem out of the clan castle. And that basically takes the clan castle troops out of the equation. Especially if there's two ice golems in there, that's most of the housing space right there. Uh, you just have to make sure that if you're using a wall wrecker for whatever reason, you don't get the wall wrecker in the CC range because it will lure it out and it will still cause problems. You gotta make sure your king and your queen also stay out of the CC range for the same reason and double check to make sure your grand warden is on air mode. Because if he's on ground mode, it'll be the same thing. You accidentally put him down and out come the ice golems and then your dragons or minions or whatever, they're gonna bust them and you're just gonna have uh, the same problems right there. So let's go ahead and jump into this replay and you'll see what I mean. Alright, so you'll see that I start the heroes down in the south, and I'm going to make sure they stay uh, plenty far away from the clan castle. They're not going to lure out the ice hole. What they're doing down there, they're going to get that funnel taken care of, and they're going to get one of the air defenses out of the way. And then the Electro Dragon in the east corner is just basically making the funnel for the rest of the army. So the queen's going to finish making her way up there, gets that air defense taken care of, and then here comes the rest of the army. And I'm going to rage them in there. Grand Warden is on air. So the Ice Golem doesn't come out like I mentioned. There is a Witch that comes out, and I dropped the Freeze there to stop the, uh, the Sweeper and the Eagle Artillery, but I believe I missed the Sweeper once or twice. Anyway, the Witch comes out, and that is the only thing that does cause a little bit of trouble because the E-Dragons get a little bit stuck on her Skeletons. But since the Ice Golem's not out, at least they're not stuck on the skeletons and getting frozen in the process. It would have caused a little bit of trouble, possibly with time on this one. Uh, I don't remember without looking back what the time was, how much time was left. But I am able to basically ignore the CC and get the 3 star on that base. So ignoring the Ice Golems with an air attack is great. But not everybody can execute air attacks well and sometimes the base just doesn't call for an air attack and it's better to go with a ground army. So we're going to take a look at a few different ways to handle the ice golems with your ground army. And of course you're going to have to lure them out so these will be different than uh, the previous attack. So in this example, this isn't against the Town Hall 12 but the principle would work exactly the same. We've got a queen charge coming in but the key detail here is we've got a wall record that's filled with Valkyries. And what that's going to do for the uh, for the Ice Golem is the Valkyries are going to run out ahead and it's going to put some distance between the Ice Golem and the uh, Charging Queen. Now the Queen is going to get frozen, but the key is that the healers are not frozen. So oftentimes, if you get your Queen taken out the Ice Golem, sometimes you'll get your uh, healers frozen as well and that can be just as bad as having any of your other army frozen. So the Valkyries they head out, not only that, but they also help take down the Ice Golem. So sometimes if your queen is far enough back, uh, she can avoid the ice golem altogether. 
All right, so if you're looking at a base kind of like this where the clan castle is offset and you get a fairly easy lure, another option for your ground armies is to go ahead and lure that ice golem out and use your troops or your queen or whatever to kind of deal with it away from the defenses. So, you know, away from the expos, the teslas, and the town hall, and of course the eagle is also not yet activated. So there we go, we've got the uh, couple of giants in there, get that ice golem pulled out. Free spell is going to come down on that baby dragon, and then a poison spell is also going to come down, and that's mainly to get the witch taken care of. So the queen does get frozen, but the ice golem, the witch, and the baby dragon all get taken care of fairly easily here. Alright, so these last few examples here, we will be uh, looking at some friendly challenges that I did. I'm going to try and avoid showing too much of uh, Java's bases here. But it'll be uh, the last few examples to kind of show different ways to deal with the ice golem and the clan castle. Now these will be uh, queen charge, the first few at least will be queen charge based entries. But the, uh, same principle sh the same principle will apply to basically any ground entry. Um, primarily we're going to be looking at using the grand warden or using spells to basically offset the uh, enemy ice golem. So here we go with this entry. Of course, we're going to get the funnel going and then get the queen going in the south. And then she's going to charge into the base behind the wall wrecker. All right, so there she goes. Uh, I'll have to get that other funnel going over there with the other baby dragon. So basically, the goal with this hit is going to be use the rage spell to help keep the queen alive. And then I'm going to use the free spell on the expo up there to help reduce the damage that's coming in while my troops are frozen by the ice golem. So here come the ice golems out of the clan castle and the queen, I hit her ability and she's walking in. There's the rage spell and it's going to stay up for basically the whole time here. And there's the freeze, I also hit that inferno tower up there, that helps keep the damage low as well. And then there's the other freeze I kind of missed on the expo there. I, I should have been trying to get both, so it wasn't ideal, but it helps give you the idea. If I were to do anything differently on this kind of approach, I would not take bowlers and the uh, wall wrecker. As you've seen, they, even despite the freezes, they still get wiped out fairly quickly. So something like giants would certainly be more ideal. All right, so this is going to be a uh, very similar approach, but not quite the same. I do still have the bowlers and the wall wrecker, and that's kind of key here. Um, I'm going to do the same queen charge kind of entry, but this time I'm going to send the warden with her. And if you're not necessarily doing a queen charge, uh, you could still do the same thing by making sure your warden is with the troops that are around the uh, wall wrecker. You basically send them in behind the wall wrecker just like this. So they're going to charge in, get the CC lured out just like before. And I'm going to use the Warden's ability to help keep the bowlers alive. You can see I dropped an earlier freeze there, and I was trying to get a little bit more distance between the Queen and the Ice Golems. Didn't necessarily work out as well as I'd hoped, but you can see I used the Warden's ability as the Ice Golem pops. And then you'll see in just a second here, the second Ice Golem pops, but the uh, bowlers are still going to be alive. I also used the, rage, or the Ice Spell up top to... Uh, make sure that expo is down. So you can see I'm getting a lot more value out of the bowlers than I did in the previous attack. All I did was uh, basically move the warden over. Alright, so this will be the last replay that I share from these. And though I don't necessarily recommend Bow Witch as a, uh, a good three-star strategy, this is a good example of... Uh, using spells to counter the ice golem so we got the double ice golems coming out of the cc we got a poison spell down and we got a heal spell down to help keep the bowlers alive so the king and the bowlers are actually working on both of the ice golems at the same time and the poison is helping make sure they both go down so they're both going to go down at the exact same time notice i have not used the warden's ability yet so once the freeze wears off they can uh, continue on to the town hall and then use the warden's ability and keep all of those troops alive. It is a bit risky to take on the uh, ice golems in such close proximity to the town hall. If that town hall had been active, all of those troops would have been wiped out.
But anyway, that's all the replays I happen to have for this. Uh, a lot of our replays were air attacks, so that's why I had to do a couple of the friendly challenges in there just to get at least a little bit of an example of how they can be dealt with uh, when attacking. So basically, in summary, when it's uh, ideal to do so, go with an air attack and avoid pulling out the ice golems altogether. Uh, right now, Electro Dragons, Regular Dragons, and Laloon are all very good options uh, for 12v12, 10v10, and 11v11. Uh, if you are going to go ground, you can use Wall Wrecker with Valkyries to distract them and take them out deeper in. Of course, Queen Charges are good, and you can use the Freeze spell to freeze the surrounding defenses that are attacking your troops. Uh, you can use the heal spell to make sure you're keeping your troops alive while they're frozen. Use the warden's ability to keep them from taking damage. And then finally, especially if you've got healers in the mix, get that rage spell down. And that way your healers will have no problem keeping your troops alive. But that is all I've got for this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I hope this was helpful to some of you guys. If you liked the video, be sure to click that like button, and if you want to see more Clash of Clans content from me, be sure to click that subscribe. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I'll see you all next time.